Paraprofessionals and personal care assistants are among the more than 200 Scranton School District employees furloughed, and this comes after the Board of Directors voted 6-2 to two on the move at last night's board meeting. Eyewitness News reporter Cody Butler joins us live outside the administration building with more. Cody. Candace, good evening. There is nothing short of frustration from those teacher aides. Two weeks ago, they found out about possible furloughs from a newspaper article. That came true all last night. Outside the Scranton School District's administration building, paraprofessionals and personal care assistants, or PCAs, gathered to share their story. It's devastating. You know, I can't even talk about it. It's just devastating. Lisa Machek is a personal care assistant in the district. She's among 144 paraprofessionals and eight intervention specialists. On top of losing her job, her health insurance will stop on September 30th, the same day she will be furloughed, and prescription benefits one month later. And my family was covered by it, so now I have, you know, people that depend on me. The district's decision to furlough 222 employees is based on roles and function changes as students learn fully online. These teacher aides believe they provide help to students even during this time. They depend on us. They look for us. They, we're their comfort zone. So they're going to miss us. They're going online and they're streaming with their teachers. They're helping make packets. There, there's plenty of work. They could make phone calls. Kristen Bond has been working as a para for five years. She earns $20,000 a year, the average salary for her position. I work other jobs so I can do what I love to do and help those students that need it. Do you think you'll ever get your job back at the district? I'm hopeful. I would love to, but honestly, I don't think so. As the superintendent looks to call back furloughed employees for needed positions, PCAs and paraprofessionals hope they are the ones brought back by the end of the month. In Scranton, Cody Butler, Eyewitness News. Candace. Cody, thank you. And to see Cody's story looking at the details surrounding Scranton School District's furloughs, head to our website, pahomepage.com.